think today is going to cover the majority of April's mail. So this is Post Crossing. So I have pen friends and the letters here. Post Crossing was a light month, but here it is. And pen friends, a bit heavier. Oh, there's some letters in here too. That might have been just a postcard. Okay, so I think what I'll start with is a cup of tea. Okay. Hmm, it's a pretty good cup of tea. Um, do do. All right, so I do need to find my little postal ghosty. Always very handy. It keeps postal service postcard. And so this first post crossing card comes from Estonia. I know that they left there. No, Spain. Spain. España. Those are cool stamps. And that's the postcard. This one's coming in from Germany. There you go. This one was just from the US. This one's super cute. I think it's from Taiwan. Nope, Japan. This one's coming in from Germany. Cute hedgehog. I had two hedgehogs this time around. This one is the U.S. San Francisco Andy Warhol from, I believe this was from a museum. It's from the San Francisco Museums. Yeah. This looks Anna Green Gables-esque, doesn't it? It's coming in from Russia. Let me cover up an address. There we go. I got a couple Happy Easter 
from people who celebrate Easter. Fun postage stamps too. This one's coming from the US. So I think they said they were Arminian. Um, yes, but her family's Arminian. And so they celebrate Easter. Have another one here. Fun with the chocolate postcard here. Great cancellation from, was it Germany? Yeah. Look at this one uh, from Wes Anderson's Darjeeling Limited. I think this was US. Yep, US. But a great cancellation. Look at that. A fun stamp. I have an Irish Wolfhound. I think they're gorgeous dogs. Um, and it was just a US with a traditional postcard stamp. Got a Lord of the Rings. I think this one came in from Russia. Yes. There you go. Coming in from Russia. Again, wonderful cancellations. And I really do like Lord of the Rings. It's cool how the uh, shadow is the eye of Sauron, or the Sauron's tower, and then the ring. Hmm. A sunset beach coming in from Tampa, Florida. traditional uh, forever postcard postcard stamp and then I wanted to end on this one look at this manatees from the what is this the animals the animal kingdom manatee and it's coming from the US with another of the forever postcard stamps but I wanted to end on that one because this week we had the uh, manatee, or last, I guess last week, but this week we had the manatee release. Save the manatees. Forever postcard stamp, or postage letter stamps. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Aren't they just the cutest? I also snagged one of the first day of issue save the manatees. I couldn't help myself. I really adore manatees. I have postcards that are probably 22 years old from Florida that are manatees from my dad still. So I really do enjoy manatees and think they're just the cutest, chunkiest little things. All right, so that was the postcard uh, from Post Crossing. Postcards from Post Crossing that came in for the rest of April. I mean, not April. Oh my goodness. For the rest of March. We're just about into April, aren't we? And by the time this video gets uploaded, we are in April. Okay, I will get through these quickly without showing addresses. Pop them off the screen here. I know this one's coming in, I believe, from Giselle from Canada. Uh, from the Vancouver Post Crossing Meetup. Thank you. I have this coming in from Shannon. She did the um, Love Station and Lovely Leeds in New York. Cancellation there. That's very lovely. Thank you, Shannon, for that. This is coming in from that dad guy or Rob from Canada. 
Always enjoy my pinups. Um, this one, Caitlin, has to be Caitlin. That's her handwriting. This is so Caitlin. All right, anyway, fairly sure this is Caitlin. It looks like her handwriting. Uh, did you even sign it, woman? Yeah, there it is. Okay, it is from Caitlin. This is from my uh, pen friend, Cindy. Uh, from the Netherlands. Um, here's the postage stamp. That's a cute one with the T. Uh, this one is coming in from Anjali from the Joshua Tree National Park. Lovely park, by the way. And there are the cancellations. Well, not cancellations, but the oh national park stamps and great postage stamps oh i haven't opened this one yet i received this one from new zealand looks like a letter i might move on from here i'm not sure yeah it's a letter from letter mo i do believe I'll add that into the letter mo pile. Okay, so this is a cheeky one that I sent myself while we were in England um, back in the end of February, beginning of March. Uh, I sent it on February 29th, and there's the postage stamp, and it got it got here. A little lagging, but it did. This one is from Uli from the US and great postage stamps as always. I like that one. Huh. Oh, let's see. Who's this one from? This is from Betsy. Thank you, Betsy. Interesting card. Let's see. Oh yeah, post crossing was sending, interview for a new thing. Yep, life's life's been rough. Life's been rough. Good postage stamps, thank you, Betsy. Oh, another one from Uli. Ooh, he wrote with a nice fountain pen too. So here are the postage stamps. And there's the postcard. It's one of the other Korean rail postcards. Thank you. Oh, this one is Crater Lake National Park. I think I received one of these recently. This is from Jessica Slippins. So fun to receive the National Park ones, isn't it? And they're always so well decorated. Or I should say the art's very well done. Um. This is from Netherlands, and so here are the postage stamps. Tom and Jerry, butterflies, a little like Christmas fairy, and then probably like a forever type stamp. <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, another one from Uli with more great postage stamps. I have to read all these. I think there's probably like one, two, and three. Yep. And then we have another one from my friend Jenny. A lovely Lord of the Rings. And then I don't know what happened with this one. But it came in a little envelope like this. And it is from Shannon with the St. Patrick's Day Station from Shamrock, Texas. Isn't that fun? And look how cute this is. One, two, and three. I think of the stations. That's so cool. 
So that is coming in from my pen friends. Thank you very much. I'm a little mellow today, so it won't be a very chatty um, video, which I think is fine. Just I'll play some music and it'll work. Uh, so here's the letters. Ooh. I have one from New Zealand, another from Tennessee, from Lacey. I have another one from, looks like Leah for Letter Mo, Renee from Letter Mo, uh, Pierre. I think this was a. I think this may have been somebody who found me on here. This is from Brazil, and it's one of those um, art, traveling art pieces. And then this is from Tammy in, well, she's actually back in Washington now, uh, but it was from Tammy from Texas, who is now in Washington. She sent me postage stamps. Uh, let's see, with a lovely, postcard. But yeah, postage stamps that I'll have to float them off the paper, but then I can uh, do my postage art, my stamp art that I've been working on. And then I got this one from Erin. And so those are my letters I've got to reply to. So good. Thank you very much, everybody, for all your lovely mail. I am slowly getting through my stack to return to, as well as keeping on top of my post crossing. I think I am through, how many letters did I write out in the last week? Not as many as came in. There's way more of you than of me. I found a little Snufkin mug, because I really like Snufkin. I think if I do a Comic-Con ever again, I'm going to dress up as Snufkin. As it just seems like the perfect, uh, perfect cosplay for me. So I was able to grab some new postage stamps. You saw the manatee ones. So I got some of the manatees this last week. And I was able to grab some hummingbirds as well. I don't know if you've seen these ones. It's the same design in four different, four different designs repeated on itself. So those are cute. My grandma's favorite birds were, my grandma on my dad's side's favorite birds were hummingbirds. And I remember going over to her house in West Virginia and she would just have dozens and dozens and dozens of hummingbirds surrounding her multiple feeders. Uh, so hummingbirds were always just kind of like part of my childhood and my life. I got the watercolor flower US forevers. Eh, those are just generic to just use. They're not my favorite. And so I'll probably use these more than the manatees for sure when I'm sending letter, not letters, but postcards on Post Crossing. I got some of the Underground Railroad. I really like these ones. Um, I think I also like the arrangement of people they chose to show the diversity of who also did support the Underground Railroad. And then I found, I got these ones for the lunar year of the dragon. I picked up the year of the dragon. I have the year of the rabbit. And I think I have the ox and the tiger. Actually, I might not have the tiger. Um, I don't have the rat. Might have to get a full collection. But I just picked up some new ones to add to my uh, plethora. I'm going to have a really hard time letting go of these ones. And I do want to make maxi cards with these ones. But again, it'll be hard to let go of the maxi cards. Okay, that is me for this past week of mail. I do hope, oh, I did forget. Uli also sent me two envelopes. I've already put them in a plastic baggie, but two envelopes full of postage stamps. So thank you so much. I am going to be using these on the little art projects I've been working on. And I will extend the video a little bit to show you those. Let me go grab them. Okay, 
So what I've been making is on five by five canvas, I've been um, just <laughs> glue stick, putting stamps on and then Mod Podge over top. I call it Mod Podge for some reason. And I found out that other people do too. Um, and so I have four of them. One of them I've sent off to a pen friend already. I'll show you the frames in a second, but I've been just kind of, uh, let's see, are they all on the screen? Yeah. So I was kind of focusing on blue, green, and then red for this one. I don't know why my brain just wanted to go for colors. And then, um, Postmark made frames on his 3D printer. And so you can stick the canvas in back here and I'm like once it's stuck in it's kind of it's kind of stuck in so I haven't put them in yet but he made a green one which I liked with the blue and then he made a brown one which I liked with the green and I mean you could just do the green with the green and the blue with the brown but this is why I haven't stuck them in yet I haven't made my mind up and then this beigey one with the red. Um, but once they're in, let's put them like this. And once they're in, they look quite nice, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I've been enjoying um, making them and using old postage stamps um, to just giving them a little bit of new life. So I'll probably keep this one or another one because I like all the Australia uh, stuff here. So I definitely will keep this one. And the next thing we need to work on is getting a hole in the back to put a, to hang it, like a little nail, a nail hole. But that's, that is why some of the mail recently has been postage stamps. Used. Um, a lot of them have already been floated off, which is nice because then I don't have to float them, but I don't mind floating them. I just, uh, I think the last time I floated them off, I was also cooking dinner, so it was easy enough. But I think the, I think the frames mark design, postmark design turned out really nice. Well, all right, that's, that, that's been me this last couple weeks. I know I haven't posted a video, so I'll get this edited up and posted and take care of yourself, okay? Uh, drink your water and bye for now.